Hey guys, I'm doing a big fat no-no and that is I'm recording a uh, podcast episode from my phone because I'm driving um, to my house in Bear Lake and uh, I'm coming directly from BYU, Idaho, which is up in Rexburg, Idaho. And I am just, I'm filling with fire right now and just was like, I just need to get on and talk about the possibility crisis that I think we are experiencing right now because people have no idea really what is possible. Every, it seems like every kid in America or most kids in America uh, over the age of maybe 12 or 15 or even 18 have a phone. Many of them have laptops and they have access to the internet. So you would think that they would realize that the opportunities are everywhere for making money. They're everywhere. But I am seeing that there is a real crisis that people really don't realize that being an artist, being a photographer, being a designer, there is power in those things. That art departments everywhere should be shouting from the rooftops. rooftops. We have ways to make money. There is ways to become and make money in the art fields when you leave college. And um, I, I, uh, I, I felt so incredibly lucky because I got invited up to speak in this artist lecture series at, at BYU-Idaho. And I, I uh, spoke for about two hours last night. And this is, I'm recording this way in advance. So this is end of March, early April and uh, spoke to their department, spoke to the kids, about 200 kids or so, um, about making money after college. And uh, one of the teachers said that they, they have never seen kids so, they had seen the kids in a long time be so engaged with content. And I think it's just something that we're not talking about, like that we leave college as an artist and we have perpetuated that starving artist myth that there aren't, it feels like there aren't ways to make money. Well, guys, there are so many ways to make money as a designer, as a photographer, as a painter, as an illustrator. And all of them can be linked back to the internet. And what we need to teach our students, and just like we need to teach adults who are doing this, you know, I, I, I really focus on women who are 40 to 65 um, and I, I do have some 30 year olds and I do have some 20 year olds and I even have a 19 year old in my design suite program but the things that I teach there are the things that should be taught everywhere and that is all you have to do is figure out how to get your artwork into a format that is palatable for a customer that it's easy for a customer to figure out how to use. And if we can do that, we can find platforms online, lots of online shops in which we can share and serve people in our audience and in which we can make money doing that. And I am feeling so passionate about this because I talked to so many students who had no idea that they could come away with an art degree and make money with that art degree. And that kind of hurt my soul. That that really, it felt like, what are we te teaching these designers and these artists? That they were gonna come out and do what? I mean, I had someone, a fellow come up and say, I don't wanna work at Walmart the rest of my life. And I was like, that, that can't be the only possibility for you. And I saw his work and he does this amazing custom portrait work and it's just phenomenal. And I was like, there are ways for you to sell this. There are ways for you to do this for a living. And I think the possibility crisis is coming from students and even adults and people accessing the internet but not even realizing or thinking through how people are making money from their art and from their creative work. And I am here to tell you that the possibilities are endless. I've seen it in my own life. 
And as I grow and I become more proficient, even in my own design business, right now we have so many things going on in our design business. Our Etsy store has completely blown up. Our wallpaper store, which is now in Raspberry Creek, we are uploading crazy to. Um, we have started putting some stuff in some of our other stores. I'm designing it. I do have a team to help me upload stuff. But for 13 years, it was just me. And that's how I know that anyone could do this. And now I see my own designers in Design Suite making sales, pushing through, getting the work done. And so much of it, you guys, so much of it is simply doing the day in and day out work that isn't so fun. If you have read my book, Design Profit and Prosper, I go through the design process. And some people will say, oh, that, that looks like good. I'm sure I do that. When most people do not. Most people spend their time maybe doing their art and having ideas. When what we need to be doing is getting it all ready, produced perfectly for a customer and then uploading it to an online shop where we can sell it or getting a contract if, if you're wanting a contract with a manufacturer so that you can sell it there. But you guys, if you just look around, if you just dig into what is happening on the internet and look at shops, very often I don't tell everyone shops, there's a reason for that. It's because I don't want someone to come to me and say, Karina told me that the best shop to be in is this, this, this. And in one year from now, it has changed. Why? Because the markets change so fast, okay? So even within my own design suite, what I am telling him to do right now is so different than what I was telling him to do a year ago. And that's part of the reason people stay in design suite for a very, very long time is because they love hearing and seeing the updates because I am tracking the research and watching the numbers for what is happening. You should be too. But really, it is very simple, you guys. It is very, very simple. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.